Sarah Wisher, and she's with Laser Lipo and Bain Center. Let's go back up to the Laser Lipo Bain. Perfect. Good morning, everyone. I don't think I can top the initial presenter. That was pretty amazing. Phenomenal. <laughs> Um, my name is Sarah Wisher. I am a registered nurse at Laser Lipo and Vein Center. Um, I work with Dr. Wright, and we do pretty amazing things there. We're delighted to be sponsors here at this event again this year. Many of you are familiar with what we're offering. and dermaplaning. Our nurse injectors offer injectable fillers, neurotoxin, and cosmetic sclerotherapy. If anyone has any questions after um, the presenters, please feel free to reach out to myself or my amazing co-worker, Amanda, who is also a registered nurse at the Laser Lipo and Vein Center. Um, on our medical side, Dr. Wright is able to pursue his true passion of helping patients with venous and lymphatic medical conditions. He is one of only a few physicians in the United States dedicated to the diagnosis and treatment of a condition called lipedema that affects tens of thousands of women but is well underdiagnosed. Um, he has authored now 10 peer-reviewed articles on the subject of lipedema, and he has been a lead investigator on several clinical trials. He just had an article published in November of 2023. It is called the Lipedema Reduction Surgery Improves Pain, Mobility, Physical Function, and Quality of Life. It's a case series. And let me tell you, I am a behind-the-scenes nurse at the Laser Lipo Vein Center, but I am a surgical nurse and I'm in with a lot of these patients and I can attest to this article um, and most of his articles about the quality of life that we are giving back to these ladies who um, suffer from lipedema. So um, that's really all I have to say, but um, we are doing a little sweepstakes for anyone who would like to enter. So all you need to do is go in, I think there's some on the table, there's some in the little brochures that they've handed out, you just scan the QR code, enter your information, and then it will be drawn next week, so please check back with social media and the winner will be notified via email. We are very fortunate to have one of our patients here today from Laser Light One Vein Center. Um, Ms. Connie Boyer. She is from St. Louis. She is going to provide some insight into her lipedema journey of, through diagnosis and treatment. So, Ms. Connie. And I'm super short, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Happy International Women's Day. I'm Tony Boyer. I am a recently promoted global program manager for Amazon in our corporate real estate and facilities division, and I have lipedema. I am going to tell you a little bit about my lipedema journey today. My problem was that I just couldn't seem to lose weight and keep it off. Looking back in my life, I've been on one kind of diet or another since my teens. I got into my 20s and my main thought was, why am I such a failure at this weight loss thing? I was clumsy, I was covered in bruises, when in my tweens and teens and into my 20s, I was in dance class hours and hours every week. Why was this happening to me? <coughs> Marriage, children, moving around the country for work, 
uh, perimenopause, menopause, I continued to yo-yo in my weight and gain quite a bit of weight. My legs were tired all the time. My knees hurt. I just kept pushing through like women do. At 255 pounds, I became really scared that I was gonna die before I should. So I finally began seeing an endocrinologist and a nutritional counselor to lose weight and understand you know, how to nourish my body better. It seemed to work. I was able to drop 65 pounds. I was thrilled. I could walk somewhat more comfortably, but the weight loss came to an absolute standstill. Then came the pandemic. Some of that 65 pounds crept back on. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And finally, we moved. I'd lived in Seattle for about the last 20 years, and we moved back here to St. Louis during the pandemic in 2021 so that I could be closer to my parents. This is my hometown. I'm still thinking, why am I such a failure at this weight loss thing? Why did my arms and legs hurt? Why were my legs so puffy? Why did I bruise up like a little kid, bruises up and down my legs? My husband occasionally quipped that he was really worried about the bruising. He's sure that some cop was gonna pull him over because he thought <laughs> that I was being beaten up. Um, not to make light of those folks who have endured domestic violence, but it told me it was a worry for him too. I was this failure in my eyes, moved back to take care of my folks. But on January 25th, 2022, I was out running errands and I had the radio on. I always listened to St. Louis NPR and I heard the tail end of an article on one of the local programs about this guy. This gentleman was talking about this disease that mostly affects women, where you're fat in just some parts of your body. And there was something about a study at Washington University. I never heard the word lipedema, but I recall thinking, whoa, oh my gosh, this is me. So I looked it up on the internet, sent all the information to my primary care provider, who I was just getting into a relationship with, and said, at our next appointment, I want to talk about this. And I got there and my nurse practitioner said, yes, you have lipedema. It was such a relief. She was able to refer me to Dr. Wright and to a Washington University physical therapist that specialized in lipolymphedema. That's that puffiness in my legs. And I got started to get some really good care. When I saw Dr. Wright for the first time, I was actually a bit afraid. I'd seen that endocrinologist and the nutritional counselor, and they were both really supportive until my weight loss stopped. Um, I was eager to be understood and well supported, and I was eager to try to get into this WashU study so I could learn more about my condition. I can tell you that Dr. Wright and his team, Sarah and everyone else there, just did not disappoint. They were amazing. From the initial phone consultation I had, um, which cracked me up because they're like, well, when can we get you in town? I'm like, I live in South City. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, they did a great job communicating just how much they understood we lippy ladies. and. Dr. Wright's team ruled out some things that they might have had to take care of, like venous insufficiency. Dr. Wright diagnosed me with Ehlers-Danlos joint hypermobility, which is why I was so clumsy. My joints weren't working right. Um, they comp Dr. Wright complimented my physical therapist who put me in compression wraps. He's like, dude, that's the Mac Daddy of compression right there. So I was on my way to really good care. Dr. Wright 
endorsed me for the Washington University study, and I spent the next several months learning more about myself and helping out um, other Lippy ladies by being part of a study. Once I completed that, I came back to Dr. Wright and uh, talk about surgery. Dr. Wright and Sarah, who is my primary nurse, she's my fan, um, were so wonderful and welcoming to myself and my husband, who I brought along to many of my appointments as we talked through the five surgeries I was going to need to have. Those surgeries started in July of last year, and I had my last surgery two weeks ago. And man, the gains I've made. My knee, after the first surgery, I could walk up and down the stairs and my knees didn't hurt anymore. You, if you haven't had chronic pain, it, it's just amazing to be able to say, yes, my knees don't hurt. Um, four weeks ago, I was in Dr. Wright's office and Savannah took my blood pressure and it was the first time ever that I've had my blood pressure taken in my adult life where it wasn't excruciatingly painful. Um, I'm working with my Washington U physical therapist on strengthening my lower body in particular to help compensate for that earlier stanlos syndrome. And I am so excited to be able to keep up with my six foot tall hubby as we go on vacations where we always end up walking everywhere. And I've got a new goal. I wanna get back to dance class by the oh. end of this year. But what's best is I don't have to ask myself why anymore. I don't have to think about myself as a failure anymore. I'm Connie Boyer and I have lipedema. And Dr. Wright and his team have educated and supported me so that I can live my best life and keep my lipedema in check. Thank you very much.